Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and today I'm going to show you my craft room. So um, over the last, what, year and five months, um, lots of you have asked to see my space and I've kept it quite private up until now and the reason I'm sharing it is because um, tomorrow, so this will go up on Monday, so Tuesday, well Monday or Tuesday, I will be packing it all away. But don't worry, it's not because I'm not crafting anymore, it's because me and my husband are moving. So we are moving to Shanghai on Thursday to start a new adventure, new job for my husband. So um, yeah, I'm going to have a whole new craft room. <laughs> well, I've got to share it with a bed, but it's fine. I'm going to make it work. So I thought I would do a bit of a video diary for my own kind of memories and to share it with you guys as well. So this is me standing by the door. If I just come around here and slowly so I don't make you too dizzy and around here. So I will start this side um, and come around. I'm not going to go through every single drawer um, but I will just kind of go through what I have here. So this is where I keep all my kind of go-to bits. So when I'm filming, these are all the bits I need. So I've got embellishments, Nouveau drops, inks, um, all in drawers, all the way down there. So you can see, and then I've got Velcro dots, all my adhesives. Um, well, I keep all my extras in cupboards behind me, but these are all where I fill up. Um, so yeah, they're really, really handy. Um, I've got some calendars, that's the one I write down stuff on. That's all wrong, so if you are pausing, seeing, oh, what's she got coming? It's all messed up now, so that will all change. Um, but I've made that one, so anything I show you that I've made, I'll try and share the tutorials in the video description below this video. Another calendar I've made. Um, random collection of old vintage knitting needles, but I do use them as well. Um, I've got some Chinese little decorative hangy bits. Um, picture of me and my husband on our wedding day and again I made that frame as well so I'll share that one um, and then down here I have two old wine racks um, what, not wine racks sorry um, wooden crates that the wine came in um, and I keep meaning to cover them in decoupage which maybe I will remember to do now that we're moving but for now they hold inks so I've got some um, oxide inks at the back there and just all stamping up ones and then at the bottom here I have all of my um, embossing powders and then stays on Versafine. Um, what have I got there? Archival, Memento um, and all those black inks there that I use. And then on the side I've just popped my um, heat gun. Then I've got my where I film all my videos. So this camera is usually clicked in here um, and then I do all of my filming there. Um, it's a bit of a weird setup because we didn't plan well I don't know, this just wasn't how it was all meant to be, but it kind of worked. So I, this is a really hard board, so I use it as the kind of corner of my um, desk, and it works fine for me. So then um, here, just got, I collect old um, knitting um, uh, patterns. So these are all vintage ones, and I've got a really nice idea of what I'm going to do with those. These books here are my great-grandmother's old My Weeklies that she used to subscribe to. And again, there's loads of inspiration and things in there that I love to look through sometimes. Um, and then I've just got my um, tools. So I've just got scissors, um, punches, then pokey tools, razors, rulers. See my ruler. I finally got a tea ruler as well. I've been going on about that in some of my videos. Um, I've got a really old recipe tin here, but this is filled with some twine, which you can just see there, it might fall out. Um, washi tapes that I've got there, and then this one here, this decorative thing is what I purchased. She came out of an old department store in Malaysia, so I snapped her up and yeah. She just sits there with some fabric pom-poms on her head there. Sorry, I've got a squeaky floorboard, so that's what you can hear if there's anything going on in the background. Then if I pan back a bit here, you can see my wall. So I have just some cards there with the word happy. Um, a light box there, which has got nothing in it, which I've been meaning to do, but I keep forgetting. Plus I need new batteries. Um, if I just go a bit closer here. So this is old sheet music. This one up here, but I really like the image. This is an old... Um, book story there which is really quite fun another piece of sheet music just think it's a really funny image um, that's my Chinese calendar so if I just show you everything here you just peel off each of the days then I've got a really old um, uh, movie um, advertisement 
Again, it's really masculine and stuff, but I just really like it. It's just colourful and different. Um, some street art that we purchased from when we lived in Malaysia. And then this is old advertisements. Um, so that one there is for lemonade, different drinks by Schweppes. Um, this one here I love. It's advertising a um, lipstick. Tattoo your lips. I just think, again, the image and the font and everything's really nice. Um, down here... A couple more, there's another sheet music, just brilliant, Judy Garland and Jean Kelly, just again, love it. And then this here is quite funny, this is a really old um, newspaper um, article for, or advertisement for Weetabix, but long story short, when I was maybe three, my dad entered me into a competition, fancy dress, and dressed me and made me a cardboard Weetabix, cut it, shaped it, everything, and I got stuck in it and cried my eyes out, um, but it's something we always remember, and my mum found this and gave it to me. I think it was one Christmas, um, but yeah, it's just really funny. Reminds me of that really, really damaging um, event that happened in my life. Um, it's another thing that I made, 1987. It was part of a calendar, Samantha, four and a half, just like it. And then this here is really, really old. My mum won't mind me saying that. She's not really, really old, but it's old as in um, nearly 60, eh, mum? Uh, this was um, what was sent to my nan um, congratulations on your new arrival and it's um, wishing you all the best also baby from Kate and Frank PS I'll get you or get I'll get your potty now um, so yeah this is nearly 60 years old it would have been a piece of a3 back then that they folded in half and then in half again and that was their cards um, and I love it really really cool a little bit of uh, embossing on there as well um, another piece of sheet music Again, just like the image, and then if I come out of it here, I have got, which is really, there you go, if it just kind of focuses, it says mixed up. I couldn't get mixed up craft, but it's um, Scrabble letters, and it's a light box that my sister brought me, and her husband. Um, and then the, that trim there is from, um, uh, from a temple shop um, in China. I just love the colours, and you see them flying. So I have got them. And then in the corner here, I've got a Chinese um, umbrella, which I love. My big S, my husband brought me that. That's vintage from an old shop, shop sign. Um, I got a flag that was on one of the ships my dad was on. Um, and bits and pieces, so I'll go through that in a minute. Come back here, uh, yeah, so I've got my trolley. Just filled with, again, my kind of things that I grab, my mini um, dye machine, my little foam pad there, uh, my embossing buddy, and then on this little kind of hook on the side I've got my scoreboards, trimmer, stamping platform. And then if I wheel it out here, you have got all my punches, those circles that I use, and then I've got here my silicone pad and just some of the greaseproof paper that I use. And at the bottom there I've just got foam, and um, uh, what are you called? Rags and tissue box and then on the side here I've got all of my stencils oh I keep dropping on the floor so I've got that one and that one so I've just got two of them three of them even and then on here I've just got all of my embossing um, folders there so I can see what ones I've got and just some swatches of some of my ink colours so they are all on there um, so yes yeah, so I just wheel that out and put it next to me when I'm crafting and then it just goes back into its place here um, underneath there I've just got more sheet music and women's weekly magazines but really vintage ones and under that side there I have my sewing machine so if I just pan out a bit there you can kind of see how it all works and I do love that little space then if I come over to here on this middle section here I've got my big shot then my big blue which is the A4 size electronic die cutting machine and my laminator um, in my drawers here, full of stickers, literally goes all the way down. I really need to sort that out so that I get a good looking at. There's some new stuff as well on there, so I need to get into there. Then this one I have envelope punch board, the flower punch board, the We Are Memory Keepers letter, mini letter punch board, another little mini school board, little stamp scrubby there as well. And then this one here has just got all my leads. Um, my camera's usually in there, but I've been taking pictures. It's got um, more um, 
uh, plates there for my cutting machines as well. And then down in these cupboards here, I have all my 12 by 12 um, paper. I don't tend to have too much. I try and do get through it. I do like to use it up, um, but you can see that I've still got a fair amount that I've got to work through. And I've got some new ones as well. Bottom there, I've got A3 coloured, and then I've got 12 by 12 acetate, cotton sheets, um, a few other bits and pieces as well. But that's all my mainly my 12 by 12. Um, and then if I come along to here, I really like this setup. This has worked really well for me. So this has got all my um, A4 coloured card and then just got some inspirational quotes that I stamped out there. Um, but again, I can just quickly see what I need to get more of and, and if I've got a lot of one particular colour then I'll you know, focus on using that. So maybe let's do some green projects <laughs> or some blue actually, I've got quite a lot. And then if I just kind of pan down here, you can see this is my white card, this is my go-to, I've just got a new wad of it there. Black, I've got all my craft card there. Which I absolutely love. You can see this is the big hundred, get yeah, hundred pieces there for 9.99, hundred sheets even. Then watercolor fun foam, more fun foam, um, felt, acetate, vellum, double-sided sheets, miri card, glitter sheets, and then all six by six. Um, I've got some corrugated card, um, mix there. Some eight by eight. Um, oh, I've got uh, tissue paper in there. Uh, some more miscellaneous, more bits, and then this is copy paper. Um, oh, that is laminating sheets and then copy paper, so I need to change that. And that's what I use for templates and such. So if I just slowly, without making you dizzy, so I can get back up there, you can see there. So that takes five, is it? One, two, three, four, yeah, five of those systems, which you pick up in the stationery shops, but that works really well. Um, then if I come across here, possibly... My favourite bit to look at in my room is my ribbon wall. And I absolutely adore this. Not only does it look great, but it just works so well. Um, my mum does the same as well. And I can just pick up whatever paper it is I'm using, come along here, hold the paper up until I get the perfect match, and then cut off what I need. Plus I can see what I'm running out of really quickly. Um, so yeah, if I come out here, I could probably do with a bit more black or some darker. Um, I don't really have any... I guess I've got every colour there, but I could do with some different shades. But yeah, I really love this. A little bit of knitting stuff there, something I'm working on. Um, and then if I just come over here. So I've got three shelves here. If I go to the top, you can see I've got some old Scrabble boards. Um, get my finger in here, there we go. <laughs> um, in our old house, I used to put these up in frames with different things in them. Um, I've got one up here, but I've got some spares there. I've got my little magic roundabout doggy. Um, some more sheet music there, Sugar and Spice. There's, that's a really old, that picture building's a really old um, kids game. Sound of Music, sheet music, and Cherry Stone. And then there's my umbrella again. And if I come back here, so at the top there I've got all stamping up stamps and a album that I've made there. Um, this was brought by my auntie, Decoupage Letters, which is really nice. Um, this is a project I've done, just haven't done a tutorial for it yet, but it's a lunchbox, it's a really good one, and it's filled with ribbons, and I really like that. So I will try and work and get something for that done, it's just quite long, so it's making it shorter for you guys. That's the Rubik's Cube that I've got. And then down here, um, this is new bits that I've got that I need to um, file away, same there as well, but basically this is my die storage. So just so you can see what I kind of use as labels. So that's my stamping up dies. Then I've got all my spare magnetic sheets. Some have got bits on that need to be filed. I need to get more of my plastic files. Um, and then I've got patterns, tags and labels, um, sets and scenes, border dies, animals and nature, hobby base, flower dies, alphabet and number dies, word dies, topper dies, travel, and then all the shapes are square, oval, rectangle. There's one more there. Yep, yeah, circle. Then shape dies themselves, Christmas and Valentine's Day. So they are all my dies. Just about getting full now. I could probably end up moving that into another one. And then it's the same process for my stamps. So they go across these three. Um, they need to be put into the little pouches and labelled. But I've got here love, sentiments, 
planning mail and that one's got to be done. I think that was travel. Then I've got nature patterns. Oh no, I've got world and travel there. And then critters, letters and Christmas. My labeler is this one here. It's the brother one. It's very popular, um, but I purchased mine here in China and I had to label my labeler. So that was quite amusing. Works exactly the same. So I just went onto YouTube and um, got all the, uh, the right labels there in place. So yeah, I really like that. Um, and then down here I have all my scraps. So I have them color coordinated. I've tried many, many systems. This is by far the best one that works for me. So I can just come along here and I've got like all my purple, um, yellow, red. So I can literally come grab the folder with it all in and then work on a project and just pop them back in again. Once that gets too full, then I'll go through and sort it out. But that is, yeah, really, really works well. Again, just stamp some more little inspirational quotes. Here I have my bits and pieces so I've got my little mini concertina folders my A4 concertina folders again all tutorials for them my travellers journal diaries scrapbooks um, and then more stamps so the big A4 stamps that you get free in the magazines I've got quite a lot there and I basically just put the whole sheet in each one so you can see there so I can just go and sit down with this file and just work through and see what I want to do these are more magazine stamps so they're just in there down in this cupboard, it's a bit boring, it's just really the um, card bases, hobby base box um, and then where I store my cards that I've made, spare envelopes and then more magazines, diaries, bits and pieces and some more storage and bits that I'm working on. So that's that one. And then if I come up here, in here is my display cabinet. I won't go through every single bit but top shelf there is just things I've collected, things that have been given to me little creatures and so on and then if I come down here more bits I've collected from traveling and just things that make me smile my mini mouse ears there from Disney World um, come down again I've got some miscellaneous like bits and pieces here twine um, old books and bits and pieces if Isabel watches this Isabel there's the little bunny that you made me <laughs> um, and then at the bottom again pretty boring um just kind of more spares really all my red tape um foil flakes more inks and again all bits and pieces there you can see don't need to go through all that and then the last section is this one here so these i love so up here i've got my mini craft room with real little led light that i made you make that from scratch I've got my thing behind here, carefully lift that up. This room hugs me. Lots of Scrabble letters and lexicon letters that I like. Vintage Tombola boards that they used to use. My mixed up craft there. All these drawers, all filled with embellishments and brads and hardware and sticky bits and pegs and sequins and yeah, there's just loads. You can see it all there. I really don't need to go through all that. And then again, got the big plastic ones there. They've got all bits in wooden letters, elastic, vintage stamps, glitter, all sorts. And then in here, I've got more vintage Christmas cards. There's one here that's about, we think it's about 60 years old. That's this one here that was given to my nan's mum. So that's really, really old. All vintage postcards here from family and things that I've found around. All my pens, pencils, my pencil roll. So when I'm traveling, um, that one there is just full of just boxes and plastic and, and old stuff. You don't need to worry about that. And that's about it, guys. So it's just a little video diary. You can see here, oh, that's my Pelham puppy. Puppy? Puppet. You can see her there. She's really cute. I love her. But that is my room. So I hope you've liked this little nose into my crafty space. And um, I will show you my new craft room when it's done. But uh, there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. And um, tune in again this week for another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.